Hi, it's Nika from Fabulously Creative. Welcome back to my channel and look at all my little bits of embellishments, cut aparts, and just random pieces. When I get new scrapbook paper pads, I like to fussy cut all the little pieces. So I will be making embellishments and I will be making some little DIY little Polaroid frames. And I'm using two square punches, a big one and a small one. And they're very easy to make, just punch your hole and then cut around it and leave a little space at the top and a little more at the bottom there is a polaroid frame punch but it's not needed i'm just fussy cutting these in different shapes they're all they're all going to be different sizes so i am just gonna cut a bunch of them and as you can see i'm not being very exact so some of them will be a little larger some will be a little smaller and let's get started okay for the first one i'm using this um it's like a green with little plus signs i'm going to just add some embellishments to the corners and one of the things when you're making these try and stick with a color scheme either that you know you will use and also keep the actual embellishment limited to about three colors that way you can actually use it on a layout or a project so I probably be putting these in my planner. I like to add little embellishments on the corners of my planner pages just to give them an extra little burst of creativity. And you can also use these on a scrapbooking layout. Just layer this frame on top of a picture if you leave the, that part open. And I'm having a little trouble with this glue. You see all that glue I put on there? I am more of a glue tape girl but for embellishments you really do need wet glue just so everything can dry better and you can also move it around i'm going to turn this over and just cut that little tag off the corner and that is it for my first embellishment see nice and simple and for the next two i'm sticking to kind of like a peach Kind of like a peach peach and brown color scheme and this one i am going to layer two pieces because that paper was a little thin and i don't want them to tear once i do put them in my box and since i did cut them all at all different shapes and sizes i do have to trim the edges to make them match I'm also adding just a little piece of this gold. Well, actually, this is not gold. This is more of a copper glitter paper. I'm just gonna layer it right on top of that square. And for, for making embellishments, these little paper tweezers are your best friend for placing these little tiny objects and tiny pieces. And I will leave a link to where I got those tweezers in the description box. You can get those on Amazon at any or at any paper crafting store. And I added that flower. I do want to add a little word sticker on here. And I was trying to find trying to find a generic word sticker because when you're making these, you want to keep them as generic as possible. Basically, because you don't know what project they will be going on and the sticker i put it says happily ever after like i can stick that on i don't know any photo but i can also come back and put a different word sticker right on top of that if i decide i don't like it i'm just going to pop this little flower cut out up with some foam tape just to give it a little extra dimension And normally you don't have to put this many pieces of foam tape, but I find depending on what type of project, especially if you're going to put this inside of a pocket, the edges do tend to curl up a bit over time. So that's why I'm making sure I get foam tape all around the little edges.
I feel like since I added that that glitter border I might as well just go for it add some more sparkle and shine to this little embellishment so I'm gonna add a pocket behind I'm gonna make a little shaker pocket and this is just an old um, project life protector that I'm cutting out and I'm gonna seal it up with my fuse tool in a minute and I'm actually going to glue it on on the back of here before I before I fill it and seal it just so I know it's in the exact placement that I want. And also, if you don't have a square punch, you can just trace a square and then cut it out with an X-Acto knife. Right, and this embellishment was not my favorite but I was trying to keep one very simple and even though this one is not my favorite it will probably be the most likely to get used on a project or a scrapbook layout because it is so simple so when you're making these don't be afraid to go all out and make some fancy but keep a few very simple just so they're easier to use on different projects
as you can see i really enjoy making these i love using them on different projects especially in my planner um in the comments let me know which one was your favorite and if you make these how do you use them do you put them in project life or regular scrapbooking or do you also put them in your planner so let me know and also don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time